another thing what i want to tell you is so using the same concept so now we are able to communicate from the parent to child right we can also able to use this inject and provide option and we can also able to communicate from child to parent also but it's a little bit of confusing thing so i will try to show you how we can communicate it but let me but not generally we will not use this one so it is not recommended that is the reason in the documentation also they have not given that communication thing i will try to show you but in the but we will not generally we will use the custom events concept only which we have uh, learned earlier so using that custom events only we need to communicate through the child to parent but i will try to show you this thing also <laughs> let's say that in the post user we are having a div here i am having here also anchor link hrf change name so in the child i am trying to change this name so which is present in the parent in the app dot view this variable is present actually this variable is present here but here i am trying to change the name in the child i will use at the rate click dot prevent okay so change user something like this i have a method so here we will be using the same thing change user okay so this is the method i am trying to use it so this change user we will provide it here here we will provide change user so here i can write something like on change user or some other method i am calling it here okay so here i am calling this one so here i will be having a method on change user so we can get the username we can get the username here so here i can change it something like this dot name is equal to user so i can use it like this from the post user i will try to change the change user leela changed from child something like this i can call it or otherwise you can use it directly here you can call one method and you can use like that also not a problem just i am trying to show you a demo now if you try to see the output here can happen on change user is not defined okay so here we need to use this dot on change user so this one we need to using right this dot on change user now if you go into this one if you try to refresh this page now we are not getting any error so this one when i am trying to change it automatically these things are changing but this change name is present in the parent from parent we are passing it to the child so but this one is present in the child in the post user now we need to pass it to the parent here and automatically this also has to change if i click on this one see all the places it has been changed from the child to parent also i am trying to change it <coughs> so from post user so here we are trying to change this one change user so this is the inject method so we are calling this one as a property but this property is not a property here this is a method whenever we are calling this one this method will execute same like provide inject only this method will execute and this method will update the name so that is all are reactive right so reactive will get updated this is how we can do from child to parent communication also but this creates some confusion so maybe you people will be getting confused this creates confusion so that is the reason so they are they are not recommended we just does not recommend this type of doing so just we are trying to use the <coughs> reference type uh, in the functioning and also we are using this reference type so that we can call directly here so this is not this is not recommended one in the vue.js but i am trying to show you how we can do it so otherwise we need to pass to single post single post to post and then we need to pass to the app.view we can use it like this also so the generally recommended way what is the recommended way of using this provide and inject means whenever you will find it difficult on using the props means it is recommended to use the provide and inject or otherwise the props is the only the best one which we can use it why because the props automatically take care of these all reactivity and all those things but here the provide and inject we need to provide all those things and this communication also we can use the custom events thing also so now here i have shown you how we can communicate from parent to child and also from child to parent also i have shown you so here when when we are trying to click on the child we are able to change the user in the parent so this is how we can communicate from the child to parent also <coughs>